the utmost type of confidence in yourself it's just carrying around your burrito like this while I'm working also just working from my bed no plate just my burrito and me I'm confident that this will hold famous last words can we just agree that the worst task of all time is changing and washing your bed sheets I hate this task I need to pace myself like I am running a marathon I, I've, I've been postponing this for so long. Also, it's almost 11. I am not dressed yet. I don't have makeup on. I don't think I will today. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather. I've been kind of sick for a while. I've just had a cold that's just not going away. And today I have zero energy. So um, this seems like the worst possible time to do any of this. But I'm doing it anyway. And uh, I'm going to feel a sense of accomplishment once I'm finished. But we're, we're also gonna make pancakes for breakfast slash lunch. This is the face today. I haven't made pancakes in months. I mean it, I haven't made pancakes whilst living in this apartment. And I moved in in February. I haven't made pancakes while I've been here. I haven't made pancakes in nine months or something. So today we're making pancakes. Don't mind the washing machine. It's just doing its own thing. We will be looking here. So we're not making a thick fluffy pancake today, we are making crepes and I've been postponing trying to do this in a vegan way for so long um, and I am not sure if I'll be successful but I'll try and I hope it'll work out. We're really still experimenting, I hope this is thin enough, I'm scared to make it thinner so I think we'll try our best with this consistency first. Then I can always add water or oat milk to thin it up. For cooking my crabs, I will be using the plant-based butter from Naturally. This is by far the best option and it works so well for this stuff. So this is one of the things that I swear by in my kitchen, honestly. Also, I'm using an ice cream scoop um, for the batter. I think this works so well. It also works with more solid batters, but this is, is my, my best spoon for stuff like this. But for this pan, I think it actually might be better to use a wooden spoon because I'll have to even the batter out once it's on the pan. So perhaps a wooden spoon is actually better for that. So I'll be changing it up. You know the thing they say that the first pancake is always bad? It's never, it's never good. The first pancake is always worse than the rest of the batch is going to be. Keep that in mind while you see how the first pancake is turning out. I actually don't have words for how bad this is. What, what is happening here? I'll see if I can turn it. One second. So I think what needs to happen is that I need to have the temperature a little bit higher. Um, I think that was the main, main issue here. And I'll see if I can spread out the dough a little bit more evenly and then yeah, higher temperatures. It's also not done done at the bottom it seems. I don't know. We're just gonna give her some more. Make her just a little Okay. Hand it over. It doesn't look like a crepe at all, so we're gonna have to try again, but at least it's intact and turned. So I'm just gonna give it like a couple of seconds on this side and then we'll try again. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is brilliant. This is the fourth try and I think this is one of the closest we've gotten so far. So it is only getting better and better. I also changed my wooden spoon tactic. So now I'm using this instead because I think it has a better like bottom for spreading like that. That's what she said. So one of my favorite things about making pancakes is honestly just to snack on some of them while you're cooking. Okay, now I have batter left for one pancake. And it needs to be good. It needs to be the best it can be. I am so scared to turn this because it's 
it's very fragile and I don't have the proper tools for it. I went into this not having the proper tools for it. So I think we're just gonna... Ah! Okay. Okay. So this is the first pancake. Um, it didn't turn out amazingly. It's very thick, but we do not waste bad pancakes yet. Mm. The pancake itself tastes good, but the, con but the texture... The texture is so bad. It's clearly had not enough heat and then too much. <clears throat> oh, well, it's just really overbaked. Getting into something that's just a little bit more like it. Crunch it up. It's soft. I didn't get the right shape at any point because I'm using a pan that's too big. Um, but I really wanted to use that pan because then I was absolutely certain they wouldn't stick to it. So I did use that pan because I couldn't get the batter all the way to the edges, which is frustrating. Oh, I have like a small piece of pancake. My fingers are so greasy because I did actually make proper cracks. I think these are really, really nice. I think this is the best one that I made. I'm just touching all of them, but I'm gonna eat them, so it doesn't matter. Then I made some smaller ones, they look like this, and I cut the edges, so these look a lot nicer, because the texture is amazing on these. But it worked, like the recipe worked really well. If you have the proper tools and you use a pan the right size, this is gonna be amazing. Mm. No words. I would say this was pretty successful. Anyway, back to the regularly scheduled programming. I'm going to be fully transparent with you guys. I just put on a shirt. I haven't put on pants today. No, that's untrue. I put on leggings to go to the shop because that was one thing that I have been craving all day. Except for the pancakes. I made the pancakes. I've just had a day where I'm making my own dreams come true food-wise today. And I'm very low maintenance when it comes to my biggest, deepest desires, which were pancakes, um, chocolate, and uh, a monster energy drink. So the only time I actually really have these is when I'm getting my tattoos. And I haven't gotten a tattoo in over a year. I don't think I'll be getting one this year, by the way, because I'm waiting until the house is sold. And then I have some other things that I want to do before going back into the tattoos. Um, but that was not what I wanted to talk about. It's just that I've just been craving one today. Um, my cold has just completely worn me down. I have sort of been dealing and I've had things to do while I've also had a cold and it's fine. The past week I have sort of been a little like stuffed and it's been okay. I can deal, no problem. Today though, I've had no energy. I made my pancakes, I did a reel about it, I posted a recipe about it and now I'm going to research for a video about polyester, both the impact and history of wearing polyester. And then I'm just gonna eat my chocolate. This is a dark chocolate with coconut and pecan. Um, it's from Lidl. It's pretty good. Um, I'm excited. It was fair trade. So that was... <laughs> Yowza! Whenever I do get chocolate, and I try to limit it to the times where I just really, really want it. So that's the only times we're sort of... Mm, okay. Um, I have a whole video about the impact of chocolate, so it is a good idea to limit the consumption. And when you do get chocolate, getting something that's fair trade really makes a big difference, even though the fair trade certification isn't perfect. But I'll link the video down below if you're interested in the impact of chocolate. And also talking about how it's made, which is super fun. I'm watching The Office while I'm doing all of these other things. I tried The Office a couple of times. I really tried to get into it. I really hated it. Now... I am much more motivated to actually watch it. I also skipped the first season and I think that helped a lot. Do you have a show that you watch whenever you feel like sick or ill or just under the weather? I'd love to know. Anyway, so living alone definitely has a lot of perks. But one thing that I find is that I would love to be pampered when I'm slightly under the weather. So I'm annoying my friends. I have a group chat with two of my friends. It's just called Queen Shit. And uh, I'm annoying them today. I just posted a picture of my chocolate and my little monster and just were like girl dinner. But I would love to be pampered. And uh, living alone when you're sick is the worst. You good fam? I'll uh, get back to work. Uh, work slash work slash relaxation. I guess it's a 50-50 situation. Anyway, good night. So recently I got a lot more 
pictures, paintings and different types of artwork for my home. The most of it is artwork that my mom has made throughout the years and I'm so happy that she's gifted all of these things to me. So I want to hang them and we are continuing on the full art wall, complete English salon. So there is not going to be a speck of space left on that wall and it's slowly but surely coming together. I love that wall so much. But I have a completely bare wall on the opposite side uh, in my narrow little hallway and I didn't want to do the same thing there because I think it will it will just feel too heavy having like all of these different types of elements scream at you from each side. So I wanted to take a more traditional approach. So I have this three piece set of hers that I'll hang. And the thing is with those types of things is that I cannot just throw a nail into the wall and just hang things because that's usually what I do. I very rarely measure. I have an eye for this at this point. I grew up uh, in a gallery. so. Simply just throwing things up, boom, 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 is never going to be a problem. But you have to concentrate a little teeny tiny bit when you need to hang three things next to each other and it needs to be even and it needs to be on the same level. Yeah, I've been postponing doing it for a while because I just didn't really feel like it. But I love how it turned out, by the way. I'm very, very excited about it. And it just looks so great. I think it was a little too much to just have a bare wall on the opposite side of the art wall. So now... There's a little bit more balance. I really, really like how that's turning out. Also today, first of all, I have my friends coming over during the afternoon. We are going to have tapas and drinks. I promised to make them strawberry milkshakes. Um, but we're also gonna shop for the tapas and then another type of drink, I think. And then we are going to a pre-premiere event for the Barbie movie. It's not like a PR thing or anything. It's one of my friends that got some tickets to a pre-premiere, I, I don't know, but we're doing that. And overall, I'm not terribly impressed with the PR related to Barbie. There are over 100 different brand collaborations and a lot of them are with fast fashion companies. And I think the amount of products that's been produced to promote this movie is absolutely insane. I am very excited to see the movie though. So I have an outfit that I want to put on later. It's all thrifted and secondhand and vintage. And there's a couple of uh, eco brands in there as well. I'm really excited about my sustainable Barbie outfit. We all have a little bit of Barbie in us. It's the microplastic. Yeah, it's not my joke, I've seen it a million times on Insta. Anyway, I'm gonna go and prep for that and then I have another chore that I want to do today that I've been postponing for ages. So today is the opposite of yesterday. Today we're doing the things we have been pushing in front of us and not doing. That's that kind of day today. And then we have Barbie tonight. Okay, go team. One of the things I have been postponing for the longest time is cleaning my jewelry. And the funny thing is, it's super easy to do. So now we're gonna do the silver ones and then I'll do the gold ones later. Because when you're cleaning silver jewelry, what you can actually just do is you're gonna take a tray and you're gonna line it with tin foil. I'm using my neighbor's tin foil because I don't have this stuff lying around. Um, then you're gonna add salt. And I tr trust me on this. Um, how much salt? Probably like that. You just have your tray with tin foil and salt. Then you're gonna add boiling water and you're gonna add your silver jewelry in a little bit at a time, no longer than a minute, because if it's in there for longer, it can actually damage the silver, but just quick in and out. And then we're gonna rinse them off. I need cold water, one second. We're gonna need cold water as well. Cold water, cold. Shout out to being the most prepared version of myself. I haven't done this in years, but I used to do it quite often. So we're gonna take a little bracelet and just give a good rinse. And you can actually see that instantly it starts to clear up, which is super, super fun. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. So I'll show you befores and afters of some of these, but this was just like a really quick little dunk. Gonna dunk it into the cold water and dab it off to dry. This one I've been very excited to see if we can clear up because I've been very annoyed with the fact that it's been so dirty. This one as well. This has not been cleaned ever, I think. You can actually see the reaction here. So the majority of my jewelry is either thrifted or vintage or heirlooms. Um, it's old, is what I'm trying to say. So simply just rinsing it off and cleaning it once in a while will also make them last so much longer. This 
this needs more time. Uh, we're just gonna put it back, it was very dirty. I uh, don't think I've washed this in ages. Is this still warm? There we are. Um, a little bit scared to do in this one, but I'll see if something happens to it. What else? This one for sure. This is super dirty. There are certain types of cleaning techniques when it comes to jewelry that doesn't work on all kinds of jewelry, simply because some of the stones in there might be a little bit fragile. Um, but I like to use this method because it doesn't use any like really nasty cleaning products um, and it's usually just things you already have in your home which I love. This is a way to make sure that your things last longer and they look nice while they last longer. This is the <laughs> so gross you can sort of see the gunk coming off of it. Gold jewelry I'll clean by taking a mixture of some dishwashing liquid and a little bit of warm water and simply just use a toothbrush or like a small dish brush to really get into all the small crevices. I got around to do it, I'm very proud of myself. Okay. This was all in my jewelry, especially like down here in the bottom of the screen. Oh my goodness. And the uh, cold water is not looking any better. This is by far one of the most successful ones. This was very, very gray and it's looking a lot more shiny now. All these crevices here were completely blacked out, it felt like. So this is looking a lot more lighter now. Oh, one second, this is also wild. I couldn't see through the stone before cleaning it because it was all blacked out underneath. Um, it looks nice now. Need more proof that my jewelry was dirty. This is the towel I laid everything out on. It's so dirty. Look at this all around here, yeah, yeah, yeah. But especially this part. Uh, this is where I dried off the chain for the necklace. I don't know how I ended up with the most wrinkled bedding of all time, but it's so wrinkled after I've washed it. Um, help? This, I, I don't know why it looks like this. However, um, I also just added in a little accent pillow here. This is some bedding from my grandmother's house. It even smells like her and I love it. Also, this, uh, these sheets are from the 70s. I I love them. I think these these colors, these patterns are amazing. And I just, I love what it's doing here. This is a thrifted uh, blanket also from the 70s, but these brown tones are for sure taking over this apartment. They are absolutely taking over. Now any excuse to dress up is amazing. I don't know why it started doing this. I'm just gonna pretend like it's not happening. <laughs> My friends are gonna be here in about an hour and I just filmed a reel getting ready but I want to show you guys the final outfit as well. It's so over the top, I love it. It's not my usual color scheme but I low-key love the magenta and the green colors together. I'm obsessed. Anyway, check this out. Excuse her, this is my vibe. I'm just gonna say it, I might be a bad bitch. What? Um, the shirt is an heirloom, it's my grandmother's and it's vintage and she got it in the 80s. I, I love it because I don't really have a lot of pink stuff. So this is perfect. This is something I would actually wear um, in other aspects of life as well instead of going out and you know, either from new or from secondhand, buying pink things to a certain event. It's not my vibe, it's not gonna happen. But this fell into my lap at the most convenient time possible and I'm matching it with some white details, white cowboy boots. Then I have my Anila Paris skirt. Uh, it's a brand I absolutely love and you should check it out. I'll leave them down below, they're perfect. We're mixing and matching pearls, silver and gold for this outfit. And I'm just layering, like I don't care. Um, I'm wearing a true bralette underneath because I love if this sort of lacing just peeping through. I think it's amazing. I found this bag in a thrift shop and I paid two quid for it. It's perfect. And the boots are thrifted as well. So this is the outfit. I am so excited and I have arranged a bunch of pink foods. Pink and orange and red foods. But I love that color combination together. So, uh, ee! okay. I am very excited about this outfit. <laughs> Okie dokie. I have decided to treat myself to a little theme dinner tonight, just by myself um, and just doing something a little bit extra just for myself. Primarily because I just found a table cover in a thrift store. I paid two quid 
for this. Um, so I am going to have pasta. I'm gonna set the table. I love this. Um, and I have always wanted a tablecloth like this. It's gonna be so nice. And um, then I have some pasta. And then I bought a special little pasta sauce. I might put some wine in my fridge so I have a cold glass of wine as well and just have a good time just by myself. Um, let's do that. I do, I do, I all. Okay, so I already have wine. We are doing solo Italian romantic dinner for one. I think I'll wear something nice as well. Okay, I am super excited about this. I'll see you guys tonight. That wasn't planned, but it worked out. <laughs> Good fucking evening. So I need a glass of wine now. I didn't put on a nice shirt or a nice outfit. I put on this shirt. I don't have trousers on um, because this is just a me night, so I don't think it's necessary. I put on a nice table cover for myself. Now we're having a glass of wine. So where are we at? It's rosé. It doesn't really work with the theme of tonight, but that doesn't matter. Oh, it's like one of those glass corks um that's impossible to get up this is not how you're supposed to do it um it does work though right yeah 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 there we go treat the knife with respect we're just having a cooking glass and then we'll have a little dinner glass as well very nice, very nice. Okay, so the tomato sauce we're using today, I like to make my own. This was not one of those nights, so um, I'm just gonna use this. Um, I do love that they're bottled up like this though. Um, it's very satisfying, you kind of just wanna chuck it. So, uh, the plan is I am gonna make a tomato sauce. I would have preferred to have basil. I used to have so much basil in the hydroponics system, but I had to throw all my basil away because that got pests into it. So now I have to start over, which is frustrating. So we don't have any of that. It's just gonna be a very minimalistic dish. I do have some vegan rice-based chicken that you normally wouldn't put in a pasta dish. That's very American, really, um, because like the, the pasta is its own thing. But for efficiency's sake, we're not gonna make multiple dishes. So this is, in every sense of the word, not Italian food. Doesn't matter though, we're still doing it. This is, this is not an authentic night. This is just me vibing. Excuse me while I put on Ghost because I have been obsessed with like three, four songs for weeks. It's the only thing I listen to. I listen to them from my phone um, because I don't, I could bring my laptop out here and listen to them from my laptop. That doesn't really change a lot. Um, but I don't have like a sound system so it's just gonna be phone music. <laughs> this, this fucking song. Like this. It's such a good song, okay. I put out this little spread. I am so excited. You very rarely, I was about to say dress up. I really didn't dress up like that, but like you rarely make a big fuss of your own dinner. I have heard so many people say a million times to me that they don't really cook a lot every day because they don't want to just cook for one person. And while I get it, it's a lot of work to just sit down and enjoy it alone. But that's because we see it as being alone as then not worthy of a grand experience. Mm. Is it because like they don't think that they deserve the experience that you have to share with other people in order to be valuable? Right now, I'm pretty stressed out sometimes and I have had a lot of days where bad things have happened. The things that have just, you know, bummed me out in one direction or another. And one of the things that I can take control of myself is, you know, I can... I have agency. I can make it the day where I had a glass of wine and put on a table cover and had fake Italian food by myself. You don't need to wait for other people to enable you to do fun things. Do something nice for yourself, even if you're the only one that's gonna enjoy it. Low key, the most important thing is that you enjoy it. So do whatever you want. I'm gonna put some vegan cheese on this pasta. Grill dinner. Anyway, here we are. When I imagined my adult self when I was a teenager, it was probably something like this. I've had a really good day. And ever since I got the idea to do this for myself, which isn't a lot of stuff I'm talking about it, like I did a whole bunch of things, I really didn't. Minimal effort, it takes minimal effort. 
to make yourself happy. And on that note, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, you can leave it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. That would make my day. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!